weekend, the footballing world will all want to be at one match. All the cameras, all the fans' gazes, all focusing in on one game, El Clasico. No other match in the world raises such expectation or has so many fans as the Clásico of La Liga BBVA, the game that pits Football Club Barcelona against Real Madrid. But why is this the year's biggest game? Why does no other match in no other league create the same level of interest? Two thousand eight, two thousand nine, Barcelona at home, no score, eighty third minute, but Samuel Eto, with his final goal in El Clasico, a one nothing lead for Barca. And seven minutes later, with Real Madrid pushing forward, a Barcelona counter attack that proved lethal. So many options, and Lionel Messi, the final one, unable to clear, and a two nothing. Embarrassment for Real Madrid. Back to the Bernabeu, 2008-2009. And Real trying for revenge. The opening quarter hour. Ramos for Higuain, who pokes it home. A 1-0 lead for the home team. But as Real celebrated, Barcelona plotted. And Thierry Henry to perfection. The give and go. And the tucked home finish. 1-1 the score. Real still trying to put the pieces of the puzzle back together. But off the corner kick, Carlos Puyol. The Barcelona captain slams it home. And Barca in the lead on the road. Before the break, things would get worse for the home side. Sloppy in the back. And Messi makes them pay. A 3-1 lead. Eleven minutes into the second half, Real Madrid plotting their comeback. The cross to the middle, the glancing header from Ramos. One goal down and still over a half hour to go. But before they could plot, Henri was off to the races. His second goal of the game on the break and Barcelona back up by two. A quarter hour left and Barcelona pouring it on. Messi pivots and shoots, five to two. And in case there was any doubt, the long run forward by Gerard Piquet rewarded from Samuel Eto'o, tucking it to the near post for a 6-2 Barcelona win at Real. A good look inside the tunnel of the Camp Nou, this legendary stadium. It's only been around since 1957, but it's nearly 100,000 capacity. Makes it one of the biggest and one of the most important stadiums in Europe. And it's matches like that that makes it one of the most legendary. Luis Omar Tapia, Eduardo Biscayard live at the Camp Nou. Phil Shane and Ray Hudson with you here on Goal TV. And as we get set for the start of this one, Ray, this is the 159th meeting and obviously the fans are ready the greatest derby in world football the match that divides Spain as a nation ideologically and politically they clash and this exists between two clubs in a unique 
way in world football. The energy, anticipation, the excitement is building up in this stadium around Spain and around the world, Phil. El Clasico, it's always been anticipated, but today's clash of the Giants is a special one. All of the big money that Real Madrid has spent is paying dividends. They come into this game on top of the table. Barcelona it is that are looking up at the Royal Whites. Messi will look to change that here today. Take a look at the starting lineups. Victor Valdez is in goal. Meanwhile, it'll be Alves, Pujol, Pique, and Avidal, Xavi, Busquets, Keita, Iniesta, and Messi in a five-man midfield. Henri will get the chance up front, although Iniesta and Messi will push up the flank. So a 4-3-3 when Pep Guardiola wants it to be. So he could be making an appearance later on. But it really doesn't matter. The quality, the diamonds that are strewn around this field here today are going to be pure entertainment. This is a cauldron that these teams are in. They are used to it. Calvo, the assistant on the far. Eduardo Prieto is the fourth. And the 159th Clásico is underway. Beautiful conditions. Cutting in. The chance for Kaká. Back post shot. Kick saved by Valdez. Cristiano Ronaldo had that one snatched away. Brilliant by Victor Valdez. A wonderful play by Las Blancos. Again, Kaká drives in. He sees his targets. A lovely red carpet pass for Cristiano. He does everything right other than lift it a little bit. But still, that's heading towards the net. And Victor Valdez. Of applause coming down from the stands for the magnificent nose and the magnificent talent that is Latan. Should I say a nice hand for Henri as he exits? Hasn't been the best of performances from Henri, and that's an absolutely resounding cheer for the big man from Sweden. And we this is like Hagler Hearns. Each team taking a few body blows, looking for the knockout. This He's could in. be it. And Ibrahimovic at the receiving end. The magnificent nose does it again. How'd you like them apples? He says to the new camp faithful. And it's Ibra Kadabra with a brilliant strike. He would make Barbara Walters cry with his football. Ingenious. Instant dividends repaid for his coach. He's onside. It's a fabulous ball and it's an absolutely immaculate strike. Ibra locks his focus. It's absolute perfection from Dani Alves. It is absolute genius by Ibra, who is absolutely out of this world with his finish. As clean as a whistle, as good as it gets. Wonderful. The appearance. As soon as he stepped onto the field, as you were just about to say, my friend. Emovic at the receiving end. Alves had the target. That appeared to be clear from behind. Undiano says Barcelona ball. Alves. Oh! It's there, and it's Messi denied by Casillas from point blank range. Dani Alves. Absolute genius pass here, and even the great Pep Guardiola can't believe it. Fabulous here, but look at this ball from Danny right against the green. He leads Lionel, and Messi makes a mess of this one. Great save, but it should have been buried. She sees it coming, she sees it going. She cannot believe it. Whistle. And today proves they are still the kings of the hill, the kings of El Clasico. Barcelona over Real Madrid, thanks to Ibrahimovic.